Hey guys, so I just uh, recorded a video and uploaded it. So if you have not watched my She Modern product review, please, please, please go back a video. And well, depending on how I uploaded or when I uploaded, but go back a video or two and look for my She Modern video. Um, I'm still. I'm trying to figure out how to use these products. I did receive in PR many of their glitters and pigments. I received a, let's see what it, if I can remember, a dry color binder, which is a water-based binding powder, which is powder and water um, mixed together, and which is, um, I guess they mixed, some sort of water and powder together and it becomes a glue some sort of glue so that is that and i have a bunch of um glitters here and pigments of all different colors a beautiful holographic orange um and they sent me a empty bottle which i'm still trying to figure out how, what i'm supposed to do with that i don't know if that has to do with this binder um, and then uh, they sent me gr a grip gel and a glue gel. One is for foil art and deco layering, and the other one is for dry glitter and pigment coloring. I still don't know how to use those. I do not know how to use the sense. Uh, the, excuse me, the stencils. There are foil water decals in here as well, which I'm not really sure how to use either. I saw a few videos on how to use the water decals. I just am not exactly sure how to use them because it didn't come with any instructions so if you know how to use any of these products please comment down below and let me know um if you have had any experiences experiences with these products and if you know how to use them please comment down below and let me know because i would love to start um using them i just want to make sure that i'm using them correctly and i don't i don't want to you know just start to use them without knowing how to use them so that is not what this video is about I wanted to show you guys how I make my swatch sticks, which is an extremely simple thing to do. I grab tips. Those are a size zero, if you are wondering. And all these swatch sticks that you see here, well, most of them, like these, I just DIY them and use them for simple nail art. So we're gonna be making something that looks like this today. Okay. That's what it looks like there. And then I just have these nail tips. We'll probably make five of them today. And all I do is I take my tip. I at times use a skewer. You can use a popsicle stick just like this if you want or a craft stick. I am going to use the kebab stick or pincho stick. <laughs> but one side is pointed, the other side is not. And the reason why I started making them with the kebab stick is because I wanted to be able to poke them inside of displays. Just like that. These were designs that I made for 4th of July. But I mean, you don't have to like that. So what do I do? Or what I do? Oh my goodness, I'm having difficulty speaking today. Did my camera just, my camera just fell over on its own and I didn't even realize. So I'm just going to simply just take a pair of scissors and cut the kebab stick in half. Be very careful with your fingers. Okay. So just in three pieces, you're then going to take your glue stick or glue gun and I've had this glue gun for many 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 years so it probably looks crazy but while it is hot it's always a good idea if you have things that are kind of stuck on the glue gun just a little tip if you'd like to clean it off 
sometimes you get little fuzzies and things that like to stick to the glue gun so while it's hot it's a good idea to go ahead and clean it off because it kind of just helps take off whatever it is that is stuck to your glue gun so yeah just quick little tip so you take your glue gun and you are going to take your tip what I like to do is I like to just take the little tip and just squeeze just a little bit of glue sorry about that onto the tip you then take your little skewer and you're just going to put it into your glue and what I like to do is I like to kind of just roll it so I like to just roll sorry guys roll it just like this and we'll make sure it's nice and firmly pressed down and we'll just leave it like that to rest until it dries okay so let's make another one really quickly just so you can see one more time take your glue gun with your tip you're going to just get a good amount of glue on there it doesn't have to be too much but you want enough because you're going to take your little stick here and you're going to roll it in the glue and then just leave it alone and make sure that it is centered because you don't want it crooked and off to the side so center it and just push it in roll it around and leave it there and don't touch it anymore for the, at least a few minutes let's do one more here take your tip add a little glue You want to make sure actually that your tip is coming from the side that you would apply when you apply your nail tip you know that you oh sorry guys you know that you take your nail tip and you glue it like that so make sure that you're gluing on the side that you would see that's not enough glue and we waited a little bit too long that's okay you just add a little bit more glue don't be shy with the glue and I'm just going to roll it around just a little bit and we're just going to leave it there just like that So I'm making sure that I am gluing <laughs> I just flung the, the stick across my desk so you just make sure that your tip is facing I make sure that it's upside down but I want the Like you don't want to glue you don't want to glue your tip or your swatch stick from this side because then when you turn your stick around that's how your swatch stick is gonna look I mean unless you want it to look like that but I like to glue my swatch stick or my stick on this side so that when you flip it over and you want to paint on it and make sure that you remove all of the glue because when you start to apply nail polish it's not going to you see and wait for your don't stick your finger in while it's still drying because you will do what I just did but leave them alone don't touch them until they dry and then when they dry it's actually easier to pull off the glue Okay, so after you are done with that process, 
with taking the tip and your stick gluing them together they should look something like this when you turn it around make sure that it is centered you don't want it crooked just like that okay sorry if it's a little dark I think we're gonna have storms that are coming by soon so I have good lighting but for some reason okay guys so that's that so that is how you or that is how I make my swatch sticks you can make your swatch swatch sticks say that five times fast you can make your swatch sticks just like this or you can show me the way that you make them I would love to see that you make you know the way that you make your swatch sticks let me know um, if you have any questions or comments you see how quickly they dry so then after you are done I love making swatch sticks for some reason um, they're lots of fun so they'll eventually you know come out looking something like this when you are done these are just some swatch sticks I have put together I do have more swatch sticks so when I get a creative idea I do like to and I don't have any of the swatch sticks that you would normally buy on Amazon or eBay that look a little something like this here are the pink ones but if you don't have these swatch sticks you can go ahead and make your own so that's just what I do and here we have, I mean, I mean, these kebab or pincho sticks are very, very inexpensive. So you can go ahead and buy probably a bag of those for very, very cheap. And you go ahead. But I've never used um, like an Elmer's glue, but you can go ahead and try to use an Elmer's glue or maybe a, um, what is super glue? Something like that. I just use a hot glue just because I have a hot glue gun. Uh, many of you might not have a hot glue gun, but if you are a crafter or you know somebody that um, maybe does a little bit of craft, you can ask maybe to borrow theirs and just bang out a whole bunch of swatch sticks and you can make um, several of these and just have them whenever you need them. You can save a ton of money, guys. So that's just how I do it. And I mean, when I tell you that... <laughs> that was a fun cleanup. Um, when I tell you that I love, love, love to make my own swatch sticks, I mean, I really do love to make my own swatch sticks. So they're really a lot of fun to make. The whole process is a lot of fun. I mean, saving money is fun. Nail art is fun, guys. So go ahead and try to make your own swatch sticks. You can also use coffee stirs. I use coffee stirs sometimes. You can again use popsicle sticks or craft sticks. You can use the kebab sticks like I just was showing you. Um, also, what else can you use? I think that's all I use so far as far as DIY. Yep, the coffee skewer, popsicle stick, kebab stick. If there's any other stick <laughs> that you know of, um, go ahead and use that. But go ahead, guys. You can literally use anything to make these things, guys. So, as you can see, I love, love, love nail art. Go ahead and try this out, guys. It is so, so, so much fun. These are just coffee sticks, and these are tall. You can go ahead and probably cut these and two and make more um, swatch sticks that way. So I'm gonna let these dry. This was a really, really, really short video. Thank you all so very much for watching. As always, comment down below if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. Also hit that thumbs up so I can kinda get an idea of what videos you like. And make sure that you hit that notification bell. Make sure that you click the word all so you can be notified of all of my videos. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.